Now, before we get into this entertaining video, we would just like to remind you to like and subscribe. Yes, please do like and subscribe. Sunflowers! Well, hello there, everyone, and how are you guys today? Well, I am here to, well, originally I was here to read on Blackpink as a group, but it just seems as though Jenny just wants to be in the news. So um, let's recap on what's going on with Jenny, because first um, there was some talk amongst me and some of the commenters that if what's going on between Ginny and Lisa. So then I had done a re reading on Ginny and Lisa. And then shortly after that, I had done a reading on just Ginny and her career because somebody had asked about it. And I was also curious too, because Ginny has been kind of MIA with her music career. Um, but, and also kind of MIA on social media. But then shortly after I read on Ginny and Bay Susie's friendship, Ginny literally came out, I think that same day I posted that video or the next day on social media. Um, I guess she's a new brand ambassador. You guys can correct me. I will put up um, the video of her dancing right here or posing, however you want to um, call it. And then, and then I thought sis was done. No, now, now she's a part of Columbia Records. Can somebody please explain this to me? She's a part of YG. She, she's a, I guess she's not a part of her own label. I guess she's not going to manage herself. I guess she's going to have somebody else manage her, which is Columbia Records. And now she has OA. I don't know what she's going to be doing with OA, apparently, unless she's going to be monitoring herself too. But it's kind of weird to be signed under two American labels. So I guess she's not doing what Lisa's doing, which is managing herself. Um, I'm not sure if she's just more comfortable with somebody managing her and it takes the stress off of her to not try to manage herself. Um, I'm not really sure about that one. And that is kind of confusing, but, but that does mean in October. October, we finally get a Ginny release. Finally. Finally, mark it in your books, October. Jenny is coming back. I cannot wait. So um, I'm not sure if that, I'm not sure. It's kind of September, October. That's literally next month. She just signed to Columbia Records, or at least she's just telling us she signed to Columbia Records. So my question is, who wrote this music? When was it written? And why is it now just getting released? So many questions to be answered. I'm not sure. So, um, I think I'm here to read on Ginny's career yet again. <laughs> um, let's see what's going on in her career. So this will represent Ginny today. I'm sorry if my lips are looking vampire-ish today. It did not come across on camera like I thought it did, but it does look better in person. Trust. Um, so we have the card, this card is going to represent Ginny. And now I'm going to shuffle the cards to see what is going on. You know what? Instead of what's going on with Ginny's career, since I literally just read on that, like, um, maybe, like, eight to nine days ago, I'm going to ask it a different question. I'm going to ask, should I ask why she signed to Columbia Records? I want to know why she signed to Columbia Records. Uh, okay. Okay. Yep. Let's just shuffle the cards to see what what career what business moves is she's making in her career. Okay. Why did Jenny sign to Columbia Records? Okay, I guess I'll put that there. And I guess the cards are shuffled. So um, with that, I mean, I've already shuffled them a lot off camera. So honestly, so uh, let's lay out the cards now. So this is two, two. And then usually it's that card, but normally I do it at the bottom. Okay, so today I like the cards down. 
face down because I wanted to keep it all a surprise, especially because this card fell out first. So I was just like, let's just keep the rest of these cards a surprise to see what this card is. So the anticipation. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Huh, interesting. <laughs> Some cards popped up on the last time I read on Jenny's career. Ironically. Um, let's see what the block card is. Okay, and we're going to save the outcome card as a surprise card so that way we'll see how it ties into this reading. Or if it gives a solution or a, um, what will you call it, like a positive outcome or outlook on the situation that's going on. I don't read cards upside down, so I will flip that burden card. However, maybe we will leave that because maybe I could say that's a burden lifted. We'll see. So right now, we'll come back to this block card. So right now, what I see what's going on in Ginny's career um, at this very moment. Before we see what's weighing down Ginny, I want to talk about something that Ginny has accomplished or something that she is doing at this moment. And it is the compass card, which basically means trying to find her way. Pretty much it's the same theme. It's been running, it's apparently Lisa picking up on the energy too. But just solely speaking on Ginny at this moment, we have Ginny focusing on finding her compass, finding her navigation, finding her equilibrium, trying to figure out um, getting herself on point, maybe if you want to say that, trying to navigate her life. Um, how many other ways can I rephrase the compass for you guys to understand that Ginny is currently on a, as I keep saying, a path of discovery, but to switch it up and phrase currently Ginny is trying to find her place within the music career. So that is why she specifically chose to sign with Columbia records. Maybe this will help her get some ideas on how she's, um, on how she's going to run her own company. Um, you know, just some like guidance, you know, kind of like, it's, it's like being a, like a shadow or like a mentor, mentor. We can't say she's an intern because she's literally working for them and not with them. But it's kind of, that's, it's kind of like that in the sense that she's trying to study under somebody by figuring out what is the ropes and the do's and the things that you have to do within. And I'm pretty sure people that are signed to lease um, Ginny know that Ginny has a record label. And if not, I'm sure they could easily just do, do a quick Google search. And I'm sure her Wikipedia will have it right there, right there um, as well. Um, so, but what is puzzling me is, well, Honestly, the best thing I can say is because these two cards popped out in the last reading. I'm not sure if they were this close to each other in the last reading, but just for the fact that these two cards specifically are above Ginny tells me because last time I read on them, they were either on the same level as Ginny or underneath Ginny. So that means that within the last week, whatever this was down here in her last reading, please check it out. Whatever it was going on in her last reading right here has now migrated its energy up to here, which is good, which mean, which kind of means it's on its way out because something's got to grow from the ground and sprout out and upwards, right? So in that sense, it is, um, Ginny is... I wouldn't say dealing with it more, but just in the fact that it is something that's passing through her life. You know, it's like a wave. When a wave crashes past you, you you have like, or like the eye of the tornado. It's all crazy chaotic. But then once you like finally get settled, you find your place and find your footing. And now that you find your place and found your footing, now you got to go back into the turbulence. But now you understand and you're coming out reemerged. It's almost... I just kind of understood this right now. It's almost like a retrograde. I don't know why every time I happen to read on Ginny, again, I don't know why it seems like when I happen to read on Ginny, I happen to go into astrology or Blackpink. But um, yes, in that sense, to quickly just explain a retrograde planet. Basically, the planet is going forth 
doing its natural thing, but then the way the earth and how whatever planet it is, is rotating in space, one just happens to look like it's dragging behind. Like, you know, sometimes when you're like driving on a car, driving on a highway and two cars just happen to pass each other and you suddenly think that you're the one that's going back, but you know, you're driving forward. That's like a retrograde motion. And the way to best explain that and what I just said is the fact that Jenny or a retrograde planet, let's just say the energy, whatever energy Lee's, um, Jenny was dealing with at the time, it was in its, we'll call it direct to be, um, um, politically correct here in astrology. So this energy was direct. It was something that she was dealing with and it was something that was existed. And then it was moving its way through the ranks. So then that's kind of like the retrograde period where you take the time to reflect and um, learn and I guess really take the time to be like intuitive. And then once that period's over, it goes back to direct. And now it's no longer in retrograde, the energy of the planet. Now that it's no longer retrograde, you are able to revisit it, have a clear, um, maybe have a clearer mind, a different perspective, and now able to re-attach um, it, uh, re or to come at it again. Another way to rephrase it, just to talk about astrology just real quick, I apologize, but hopefully this can help somebody out there to understand um, a retrograde. Another way to explain it is, when you're working on a really hard project and then you suddenly feel like you've came to the stopping point or you just become so frustrated, you leave it. Now, some people may not um, come back to it. That's that's totally an option, too, when you're dealing with energy. You really don't have to deal with it, but there are some things you are going to have to deal with. But if you do choose to come back to it, that's coming full circle in a retrograde. And that's basically what Jenny has done. All that to say, <laughs> Jenny basically was dealing with whatever. And also please look at my other reading on Jenny. If you have not, I know I keep literally forgetting to put these pictures up, but I tried to like plaster them all in the beginning. And I do put them in order, like one, two, three, four, five, if it's like that. So that way you can literally like read it from how would, if you were, reading it from left to right, like as if you're really reading a textbook. I had to think about that for a second. So all that long-winded explanation about astrology tangent is that Ginny has, um, whatever was going on in her life nine days ago, she has um, risen past it, came through, and is on the other side and has maybe reflected, thought about it, and is now ready to move on and continue on with her life. All that to be said, I know literally that was a long explanation about a reading I had done on her just a few days ago and how that's popping up back in her energy again. I mean, I am tapping into her energy back to back. So like I, like I always say, whatever's in your past is currently in your present. And whatever you're dealing with in your present is ultimately going to affect your future. So ultimately your past is your future if you really think about that like the concept everything every everything everywhere all at once literally like that everything is all existing simultaneously it's just depending on how you de determine to look at your perspective that's why it's really good to look forward and not keep looking back at the past because you'll hold yourself back but all that to be said oh I guess, G I guess this is what Ginny is going through in her life because it just seems like when I'm reading on her, I just touch in on astrology a little bit and take in some um, in-depth reading on her or take some time. I think I did that on Rosé too, but it just seems like these black pink members are needing some touch of astrology to explain what's really going on with them um, a little bit and try to explain and teach at the same time. <laughs> Um, maybe I'm getting good at reading these cards and I'm also able to give a lesson while reading these cards. And also, Hey, like I said, even though I'm reading for the black pink members or reading for whoever I am reading for at the, at, um, any time of these readings that you watch them, it could be for you. It could relate to you. Maybe it could be a situation that you're going through. Maybe you can switch the occupation instead of being an idol. Maybe it could be a job or maybe instead of being an idol, it could be school. Um, it could be something like anything like that. And maybe instead of it, like a manager, it's a 
group of peers. Maybe it could be your boss. Maybe it could be a teacher. Maybe it could be a friend. Maybe it could be a significant other. However it seems to mold and fit and somehow relate, it could be for you. But um, all that to be said about Jenny and hopefully if anybody out there needed that um, <laughs> message that I seem to be stuck on with this present moment is that whoever, whatever this snake is in Jenny's life that seemed to be taking up and preoccupying her mental, literally, because it was all up in her thoughts. Um, she's, she's coming to the point now that we have this sun card here. And the sun represents um, exposing things and seeing things for what they really are. I'm not saying that, I mean, yes, technically there was a snake or is a snake in Jenny's life. Who that snake is, I'm literally not going to try to attach any names to that because it is ambiguous who this snake could be. Well, whoever this snake was, they were taking up Jenny's um, time and thoughts. She was preoccupied. Maybe not focusing on her career at the moment, but now that she is able to, like I had that long explanation, now that she's able to get past this point like a roadblock, she is now able to move forward and move past whatever that thing that was holding her back. And now she is able to go gun hole and focus on her career. And that is why we suddenly see, or now that we suddenly hear the announcement that Jenny has signed to Columbia Records. Woo. Okay. Um, so now to talk about what the block card is for Ginny at this moment is surprisingly the clover and the clover symbolizes temporary luck. And now I'm not sure if this means that this deal, it could mean that signing a, like I was hinting at earlier, maybe this Columbia Records is like a stepping stone, her shadowing or being like in, um, or being like a, um, or studying under like a manager or somebody that owns and runs a company, specifically a music company within the, um, American music industry. And because she comes from Korea and from the Korean music industry, Maybe she's not as bold or can just jump right into it like Lisa and be experimental. Maybe she wants to be methodical, think it out, plan it out, and just doesn't want to leap and take chances. So because of that, signing with Columbia Records could have been her way of temporarily getting some spotting, some learning, some information, some techniques, some getting to know the game, if you could, if you would like to, however um, slang you would like to use to talk about how Ginny is trying to approach the music career, which is maybe why we haven't seen her post any music. And maybe that's why she's under a record label now, or maybe she herself is not, doesn't know any producers and maybe she can write out the lyrics and maybe think of a melody, but needs an actual producer to write, um, make this music for her. And maybe at the time she just didn't have her buddy there for her. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean, Lalisa, right? Um, and maybe she just didn't have her buddy there at that time to like help her and talk to her and maybe give her some advice. So then therefore she had to take matters into her own hands and take her career and life into her own hands and is basically being the driver of her life or if you want to think of driving a car being like the owner of a car that's basically what Jenny did she is taking control taking the wheel of her life and is trying to figure out how she is maybe get experience or exposure into the music um American music industry with working with American producers I mean I'm sure she has been with um uh, Korea, but I'm not sure how much American producers they work with. Um, cause I, I, I don't really kind of check those kind of credits, honestly, but maybe this Columbia records was something that Jimmy did to help gain an edge in the career, you know, get some experience, like they say, instead of just going into the work field and going right at the job that you want, you got to get through, the monotonous stepping stones to rise up through the ranks and levels. And I think that's the approach Jenny is choosing to take here. Um, so 
with this. We'll see how that um, works out for her. Maybe this outcome card will tell us. So I will just sit this luck card right here. So what else can we talk about? Ginny still, this also, this card also popped up in her last reading. Ginny is still and in the same spot, actually. If not in the same spot, it could have been like right here or right here. But this card was definitely within the same vicinity where it is on the, on, um, around the main person who is Ginny. So because of that, she is still, even though, like I said, she evolved through the ranks and is moving past whatever was a roadblock or a obstacle in her life just a week ago, even though she has came past that, she is still on the grind. She is still on the work. And she's now even probably more focused and determined to work on a career, um, to get her music career out there. And maybe she even gave herself a deadline or a timeline like, hey, I want to get music out before this date, before Blackpink starts ha having to do rehearsals, maybe. Maybe she has to toggle time. Maybe Blackpink is making music right now. I mean, it's, I'm not sure how many months in advance they plan for this. Because 2025, and we're not even sure when in 2025, but 2025 is just three months away. So they they have <clears throat> technically four four months away. So they so they got to start like rehearsing, start planning, start getting together. So all that, and it's going to be kind of hard to promote while promote your music when it's so also closely released to black. Pink's music because then how are you going to differentiate the two but whatever Jenny's going to figure that out she's working on the logistics don't worry it's it's all going to work in her favor but because she's releasing music in October that leaves November December and then however many months into January um 2025 till Blackpink releases music so it's kind of spaces it out it will at least give it a season before Blackpink comes back so hopefully then she is able to establish her brand and who she is establish her brand you know i might as well just put the sun card right where it should be um this is where it was and this is how it's laid out in the cards so um like i said jenny is maybe going to be able to establish who she really is um before black pink is like they say, before Black Pink comes back together, you gonna know who Jenny is, right? She's maybe gonna drop the mask, try to be more authentically herself. Oh, also, 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 I completely forgot to talk about how the fact I also heard, which was another reason why I didn't had to do a reading on Jenny, is the fact that she had to do. I said there was gonna be some legal drama in Jenny's future. I just didn't know what it was. Hopefully, it's not gonna be as bad as I is as it's going to be because apparently some older man i'll say has allegedly posed as jenny's father and he's not and wrote a whole book about jenny if it's not a whole book he wrote a whole book and jenny was in there and jenny's like that man not my father i don't know who this person is don't believe the lies <clears throat> So it seems like she might be taking some um, legal action in the future. And maybe this, what this mask could be is that people are, <clears throat> people are always trying to create the narrative for Jenny, but Jenny is trying to create the narrative for herself. So therefore it's kind of that clash and play of the fact of, Who's the real Jenny? Is it going to be the Jenny that people want to perceive Jenny as? Or is it going to be the real Jenny that Jenny's going to be able to stand Tendo down, you know, stand on business on and be authentic in herself and the audience receptively receives her on who she is and she no longer has to wear a mask. Um, what that has to do with Columbia Records, I'm not exactly sure because I am one because this was a whole reading about why Jenny decided to sign to Columbia Records. However, it all seems to have to do with something about her. Um, per it all has to seem to deal with the way she is perceived and how she works and how much effort and energy she puts into her work and music career. Um, who knows, maybe 
you know, who knows? I can, I honestly can't think of any, I mean, I could think of a million excuses of a litany of things of people that people would attach to Jenny's name on why Jenny's not releasing music, but I choose not to give them any play. And I'm just going to say for some reason, there is a reason why Jenny is not releasing music. And because of that, she kind of also knows that she is watched closely and carefully underneath the microscope. So because of that, she feels like she almost has to walk a thin line or a chalk line between with the audience. It's like playing a game, you know, it's like that trying to get you, you know, just, she's just trying to just be herself and it just seems like it just never goes her way. But it does. I like the way this looks, though. It seems like whatever this decision to do with Col <clears throat> Columbia Records might actually, who knows, boost Ginny's ego, boost her stats, maybe, boost her production. Maybe she didn't. I'm sure Ginny has money, but who knows really how um, their finances go. So I'm not going to say that she has the finances to... Um, promote and produce herself and maybe she also doesn't have the time and resources on top of having to promote black paint so this was i won't say it was like a shortcut but maybe like a way of collaborating and taking a like i said earlier like i think this might be a weight lifted off of her shoulder because this this represents an indirect influence and what was ever burning burdening Jenny down which used to be her work and which used to be her thoughts and used to be thinking about how people are going to perceive her uh how people are going to judge her how people are going to like her or not like her if you want to look at it that way what are people going to think of the music that she released what pe what are people going to think of her image what is people going to think of the fact that she is going so low, made a um, record label, and then is not releasing music underneath that record label? If she's maybe she could even be comparing herself to Lisa, and it's like, man, look at what Lisa is doing compared to what I'm doing, and maybe she could even compare herself to Rose and see what Rose's going through. Or what Rosé's doing. I'm not sure how cool she is with the rest of the members. Or maybe she could even be... I mean, Jisoo's pretty quiet in the media. But maybe she could even be comparing herself to Jisoo. And how Jisoo's doing. Because the girls... I'm going to say the girls probably still do talk to each other. Because they still have to promote as Blackpink next year. So I don't think they've lost touch with each other. And they are like family. So for that, we have Ginny right here. What was once a burden is now no longer a burden. A burden has been lifted and Jenny now feels as though she is having some, um, having a lucky streak, having a good streak. I mean, minus the fact that somebody posed as her father, but she's having a lucky streak in her music career, signing with Columbia Records and now having music being released in October, having a lucky streak. And now that she's able to get past whatever this roadblock that was once a roadblock and is now able to move forward and it doesn't stop her from achieving her dreams or has put um, delays on her releasing music and she stands strong in, um, I guess, in times of adversity, as they say, having a, um, having, like I said, everything this card represents, basically everything about how this is a burden lifted off her shoulder. She's getting... Like I said, back on the right track, getting on focus, getting back to the task, prioritizing. Um, so that is everything that Ginny has going on in her life at this moment, dealing with her career, um, focusing on releasing music, maybe not judging herself as much or comparing herself as much or being too worried about what other people have to say about her. Um, Maybe trying to, instead of having the joy sucked out of making music, put the joy back into making music. And maybe just not managing herself is going to take that burden off. Because if she's managed by somebody else, 
nobody can fault her on how she's managed. I mean, they can, they can always fault the company Columbia records that managed her, but they, but nobody can say, Oh, Ginny did this. Ginny did that when it came to promoting and then have another thing to judge and hold against her. So because of that, she is alleviating some of that pressure off of her when it comes to her work and her mental. So, oops. So that she is able to produce and create music and fall through, which is what this, um, that's all, that was like all in her past. And then I was talking about her future, but like I said, past, present, future is all together. But really I was talking everything up to this point was basically her past, past, present and how this past, present is going to be affecting her making future decisions, which it's going to be. A very impactful very impactful it's going to be a weight lifted off her shoulders maybe she no longer has to live a double life or live um feel like she has to walk or walk thinly between her persona that people perceive her as and who she really is kind of like i said in her last reading um and then we have expectations which is at the bottom like um it could be that people are expecting things out of Ginny or it could be things that Ginny are expecting out of herself. And because of that, it could maybe stop her from doing things or being so um, quick to do something, try something, be experimental because she's worried about the backlash, how she's going to be perceived. So all that to be said, um, let's see what this final outcome card is because I'm curious. What is it? Oh, <gasps> Oh, okay. It's the rain card, which symbolizes contracts and commitments. It seems like Ginny is, like I said, full throttle, gun ho strapping it down, ready to go with her music career. This Columbia Records was just the juice or recharge that she needed to be like the Energizer Bunny clap her creative juices and this is like let's go and you know pump out music be creative really come out of her shell cocoon and blossom like a butterfly or blossom like a flower um or maybe even shine like a ruby because she wants to be Ginny ruby jane so um so all that to be said this is a very good um outcome it's very good to be committed, um, be determined, be, um, I mean, not lose focus or sight on the goal. Because if you just think about all the good and positive things that come out of a marriage or a union or coming together, that's what this symbolizes. I mean, there is negativity too and mixed in all of that too because it's not just all positive in the world and it's not just all negative in the world. However, because this sun card came out for her future and this future just happens to tap in with this and that also has to tap in with a burden being lifted, I can say that Ginny, that this move to sign with Columbia Records was a good move forward and a positive move forward in the right direction for her music career and the start of Ginny Ruby Jane. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this reading on Ginny and her music career on why she signed to Columbia Records and how we're finally getting some music and what is going on. Like I said last time, what is going on with Ginny's career? I think the jurisdiction card came up last time. And I think, I, like I said now, that that actually seemed to be the fact that somebody, I let me know, do you want me to do a whole separate reading on that? Or maybe I could wait until there is some more news that comes out about this. Maybe she'll literally, like I said, take this and be a legal case. And if it was, that has been looming. I mean, the fact that this person wrote a book kind of signifies, I mean, the fact that Jenny just, has scandals that just attach to her name that could symbolize why for I'll say like the last month and a half maybe now that every time I read on Jenny in some shape or form a court card or a jurisdiction or a ruling card comes up symbolizing a judgment is going to be passed or some type of court dealings or legal matters and here we find help
that yeah we had all those but what it really was is that it seems like <clears throat> that somebody is posing as Shinny's father and has written a book about her or of or um, a book with her name in it so with that being said um i'm not sure how that's going to affect her career but just it doesn't seem like it has any Thing that's going to be holding her back so with that being said there doesn't seem to be any thing with that seems like something that's going to be held out dealt out with pretty quickly so that's good for jenny's sake and also for her image sake and hopefully whatever that person said in the book wasn't too damaging for her image it's probably not but hey listen if she's able to refute it and take legal ac action against it nobody should hold those things against her so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this reading on Ginny and a short astrology lesson on the retrograde of a planet. It sure helped me in this very moment. And I am going to relook at this video or rewrite it down or rephrase it. Maybe it will formulate through me more, but I really did like the way I analyzed and all the different analogies. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading on Ginny. And please leave a comment down below if there's anybody you would like me to read on. And please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. It would really help the channel. And um, give it a like. If you have not given a like, give it a like. If you enjoy Blackpink, give it a like if you enjoy Ginny. Or just give it a like because you like Black um, K-pop. Or hey, just give it a reading because you enjoyed this. Um, just give it a like because you just enjoyed this reading. Or you got some good astrology bit information out of it. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this um energy reading on Janice's career and that being said i will see you guys in the next video sunflowers <laughs>